I was born on May 12, 1998. A normal, healthy child. However, five years later, my mother and I were in Denmark, and one of her friends said that Thomas is walking funny. On my tiptoes, like a girl on high heels, <laughs> and really big, gigantic calves, which were really dense. And on Thanksgiving 2003, my mother was called in to the doctor to tell her that her son was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And she was taken aback, quite sad, but then the doctor said, do you want him to go, to go on steroids for that, so that he could walk for a longer time? And then she's like, it's, I'm not gonna have him do that because I want the quality of his life to be much better than the quantity of how much problems he's gonna have. And that was the philosophy going into elementary school and not the rest of my life. And my attitudes at the beginning were I was sad, but I went to elementary school. I was pretty lazy, <laughs> like most people are. <laughs> and then my helper, she was like more like the grandma type. She was really nice, but maybe a bit too nice. Didn't really push me in school at all. So I just coasted through elementary school. But then comes middle school, where everything changes. I get a new helper. He, he's a man, and he's like, and he was really tall. <laughs> and then I, he said to me, because he saw that I was lazy and stuff, and he said, you need to do better in school because you do not want this disease to get in your way. And you want to inspire others. And then I started doing a lot better in school. Once I got into high school, I had another helper, and he gave me another price list piece of advice. You have to work hard for what you want, since no one is just going to give you what you want in life. That was the first extremely adult thing anyone has said to me, and most adult advice I've been given. And I started taking AP classes, which were like the hardest classes you could take, so that I could skip my first year of college. And then I, was all, I also started with high five basketball. It is a basketball league for disabled people. And this was the first time I felt the competitiveness of sport. And it was extremely competitive. <laughs> 